Hey guys, this is Grandmaster Griffin of Griffin Martial Arts. Uh, I want to talk to you today about an inner deal program. I'm going to break it down for you and uh, kind of give you a little, uh, probably not good lighting, a good synopsis of what we've used at our school in terms of personalities. Yes, personalities. Uh, even though fighters fight, but they do have emotions and feelings. And we actually start from that basis not the technique not the chamber not the punch but the personality four basic personalities I'm gonna turn this around for you um, we have we have number one we have the driver number two we have the expressive number three can't really see it but we have the amiable focus that in and number four we have the logical fighter now in terms of the fighters uh, People can fight with the exact same technique, but just done based on their personality. What, is that, what does that mean? Well, in this overview, I'm just going to give you an explanation. A driver is a more kinesthetic person. They like to go straight ahead. So their first technique is a blast. A simple, single, direct technique. Could be a punch, could be a kick. So he's going to have a lot of power. Number two is the blitz. They're going to come at you with the combination of two or more techniques, bang, bang, pow. On terms of point fighting, it might be a, a back fist, reverse punch, back leg round kick uh, for the martial artists out there. The other categories I came up with, now they all start with the letter B. It took me a while to figure this out. Uh, bait. Wait for an opening and then blast or blitz. Drivers hate the wait, but if they have to, if they're fighting a bigger driver, they'll wait a little bit, then blam, throw a punch. Fourth one is bump. Push a limb out of the way, then blast. Drivers are very kinesthetic. They have to touch stuff. They're not good at blocking, but they're good at touching. So we, in my classes, I trick them by saying, you bump them, then you punch them. The bump is actually a, a reactive block. You don't wait for them to throw a technique. You just react when you feel like it, hence the driver part. Number two Expressive. Thank you for joining the uh, broadcast here. This is uh, Grandmaster Griffin of Griffin Martial Arts talking about the inner deal. The D, the E, I uh, can't really see the A. Tighten that up a little bit. The A is amiable and the L is logical for the expressive. Four major modalities. One, bounce footwork motion then a blast so like you'll see it's almost like a uh, um, bouncing rhythm up and down forward and back kind of moving the feet two we have the BAM that's a block or a jam and then a blast uh, the B for block and the J A M of AM so it's kind of a BAM number three is what I call the breakdown a broken rhythm then a blitz Broken rhythm in basketball would be like a crossover dribble, something that would break them down. So broken rhythm might be a bounce, hand fake, head fake, something to mess their timing up, and then a blitz, like a two or three, four combination technique. Fourth one is bop. Expressives love hopping, they love motion, and they love movement. They love to be the center of attention. So while they're moving in and out of range, They'll hop and then pop, and then the blast. So the hop pop is basically, hey, thank you, uh, Georgies. I didn't say your name very quickly. Uh, we're talking about fighting styles in the martial arts uh, based on the personality. We have a driver, expressive, amiable, and logical. Uh, the bomb for the amiable is a blast when triggered and targeted. What does that mean? That means when somebody attacks, that's when they counterattack. They don't wait too long, but it's basically um, triggered when somebody opens up to attack. Number two is a blackout. A single bomb to blindside, i.e. like a spin kick when somebody is uh, moving in and out of range. So the blackout is, uh, oh, this is about martial arts. This is um, emotional personality driven fighting. And people that um, fight and are successful, uh, they've tapped into two things. One, what is their best personality type? Usually they're, not, they're unaware of it, but 
number one what the other opponent fights at. So I quick recrap, recrap, that's funny. We have a driver personality, expressive personality, amiable personality. Uh, amiable, you like that unless you have to. Amiables are counter fighters. Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris, they don't like to fight unless somebody picks on them. So when they get picked on, this is how they fight if they're going to be successful. There's four categories. There's the bomb, the blackout, the backup, and then finally the block. And in life, I'll get to this later, but this is very true in your personal life, your professional life, as well as your fighting life. How you attack or respond to an attack is how you are at your job, how you are at home. Um, and uh, let's go over these real quick. So we have a blast. A blast is a simple single technique that a driver would do. So in a driver personality, Bobby Knight, somebody likes to go my way or the highway, and it's no other rules, they're, they're actually easy to fight because they telegraph all their moves. They come straight ahead. They don't fake. They don't dance around. They, hey, how you doing? Uh, Savante, thanks for joining. Um, so when somebody comes at you directly, a bomb is basically blocking and attacking. Uh, number two, the blackout is you're basically going to do a spin kick where you can't see them. You black out and kick them or counter kick them while they're attacking. So it's kind of like, it's actually one of my favorite techniques, is like a spin kick. When somebody attacks, a jump spinning kick. While I'm jumping and spinning, I'm relatively safe, believe it or not. But I also generate a lot of momentum and cir circular and angular momentum with the kick. Number three, backup. What do you mean by backup? Well, drivers never back up. Amiables almost always back up. So use that strength to their weakness. You back up, you back up, and you block, and then you fire a bomb or a single blast technique when triggered. Uh, number four is actually blocking. Most martial arts are noted for blocking, but a lot of personalities don't like to block. Amiables have to block. They love to block. They are asking about the types of blocks. Do I do one hand block, two hand blocks, left hand block, yada, yada, yada. So they're actually experts at blocking. Number four out of the four, we have the logical. The logical personality uh, deals with fighting totally different. They look at it as a challenge, a game, but patterns. First one is blam, which is a blast, leg, arm mobilization uh, technique. So what does that mean? Someone throws a kick, they'll trap it and then counter it. They'll actually try to cut it off at its source, so to speak. Um, base is block and go, hey, how you doing? Thanks for joining. We're talking about fighting styles with my creation called the inner deal. Driver, expressive, amiable, logical. Four basic types of fighting. Um, personality wise it is so we're on number four the logical blam blast leg arm mobilization that means trapping the leg trapping the arm number two is a base a block angle sidestep and then exploit that weakness um, hey thanks for joining we're talking about karate and emotional uh, martial arts number three this one's ticky I actually did bridgeology on a previous uh, app uh, covering the gap with the tactical footwork drill and then a blitz. So I could be bouncing. It, it could be something like uh, stepping. It could be something like moving in and out of range and then throwing a technique. And then the last one, number four, um, all these start with the letter B, by the way. So uh, number four is BAPS, which is a blast or blitz, areas of possible weaknesses with your strength. B A P S. So down here, I wrote this a long time ago, you as a puncher versus a kicker. You as a puncher versus a puncher. You as a kicker versus a kicker, and you as a kicker versus a puncher. Usually logical personalities will break down the fighters. Are they a puncher? Are they a kicker? And that's their two dimensions that they look at. The driver, they don't care what the other person does because they're going to do their best technique. The expressive, they care what the other person does, but they're gonna, they got to make it look better. They got to kick it up a notch. They got they they got to be showtime. They got to be pretty, and then the amiables they don't really care what technique is thrown, but when it's thrown and what they can counter uh, fight with. Um, I'm probably going to uh, 
hide, not hide, uh, showcase this uh, at my karate school Monday through Thursday uh, with some drills for each one of these. One drill that we did, uh, bridgeology, uh, and just basically going, hey, how you doing, uh, Sab Spawn? This is uh, Griffin Martial Arts. These are the four basic personalities in life. We have a driver personality. We have an expressive personality. We have an aim, can't really see it, amiable and a logical so in your everyday life this is where the personality creeps into your professional and personal life if you're bossy all the time you like to be direct to the point you really don't care about the other person's feelings or emotions you just want to speak the truth get to the point right away no sugar coat no dancing around the bush if you're an expressive it's all about the dance it's all about the emotion you wear your emotions on your sleeve so to speak um, it's all about being the center of attention. If you're an amiable, you go along to get along. You're trying to not rock the boat. You, yes, sir. Yes, dear. Yes, honey. Whatever you like. Um, amiables are counterfighters, but they have to counter the encounter. They have to understand what that really means. So at, at your job, oh, let me go to logical. Logical, um, they love patterns. They love knowing what's coming up next. They like schedules. They like to organize, you know, the cabinets with little stickers on their um, spices in the jar. So logical, L, amiable, A, E, expressive, D, driver, D, E, A, L. So that's my inner deal. Here, here's the beauty of it. Once you understand what people are, these are the strengths of what they can do. Let me go over some of the weaknesses they have a challenge with. Drivers have a hard time backing up. Expresses have a hard time sticking to the game plan. <laughs> Amiables have a hard time taking charge. Logicals have a hard time understanding chaos or being put in a totally chaotic situation that they're not prepared for. Driver person, hey, how you doing, Mids Gamer? This is uh, Grandmaster Griffin of Griffin Martial Arts. We're talking about point fighting, sparring, and life in terms of emotional martial arts we have a driver expressive amiable and logical everybody's at least one of these they might be two or three as you fight uh in terms of martial arts you either go forward you dance around forward back up and down amiables use lot or excuse me logicals use angles amiables are fourth dimension they move in and out when somebody attacks them they usually don't initiate so they usually kind of wait um, and in life, if you are a driver, but you have a bunch of amiable employees, you're happy because you tell them what to do, they do it. You tell them what needs done and assume they understand it won't get done. So drivers, you tell logical, hey, these are the parameters. What do you think would be the best way? They'll come up with a better solution than you will. Drivers are one dimensional. about it's the game of basketball the driver uh, coach wants his players to do exactly what he wants to do when he wants to do it how he wants it. he'll call it like dean smith bobby knight here's how you do it this is step one this is step two expressives are the nba's version of michael jordan not in college no one really know about him it's the same person but he let loose as an expressive slam dunk competition freestyle Shake and bake the whole bit Role player. That's the 10th 11th 12th player on the team. You know, they're they're amiable. They they do the dirty work shot blockers are very amiable um, Logical those would be the point guards the uh, coaches on the floor if you will The driver is usually going to be the dominant physical player on the team used to be the center back in the day But nowadays you got uh, driver personalities like a Kobe Bryant like a, um, um, you can go on and on and on. The drivers are the ones, my way or the highway. The good thing about knowing about this is that you can see certain things develop before it really takes place. What does that mean? If you're 
let's say you're at work and we got us which one you are the, the office says hey let's get something to eat today the logical is going to say well it's sally's turn because everybody else has made a suggestion and sally's the amiable so she won't make a suggestion she'll just have to be forced to give a suggestion express says if they just see a commercial or if it's tuesday taco john tuesday or if it's wing wednesday they'll remember the commercial or the flavor or be very vibrant in their explanation. The driver will probably go to the same restaurant all the time, order the same thing because that's what they like. Matter of fact, they might even go to the same location if it's a chain, and because they can tell the difference between a bad cook, a different cook, and the cook they like. So they like Jim. They don't like nobody else's. What if for whatever reason? So in karate, when we when we let me turn this the other way. I've got this application so I can see. So in martial arts, when we throw punches, it's not just throwing a punch. A punch is not a punch. The puncher, one throwing a punch, is motivated by their own emotions. Are they motivated? Hey, how you doing, Matt from Minnesota? Uh, we're talking about personality-driven martial arts, and one of the things about the personalities that I came up with with the inner deal. So we have a little chart here, it's kind of overwhelming, I get it. I'm just rambling with the dog in the background uh, out in the yard there somewhere. Um, that's an expressive trait, can't stay on task, can't stay focused, but that is their focus. Um, when you look at, uh, let's say, Bruce Lee, for example. Bruce Lee was a very, very logical fighter once he understood philosophy which was very expressive but he understood power and strength which was very driverish meaning he incorporated bodybuilding techniques weightlifting techniques um, cardiovascular endurance things that are simple direct he also developed the uh, one inch punch the, the three inch punch being able to blitz and use powerful techniques quickly he was amiable as a person as a kid growing up in um he was born in america uh, but in China, he would get picked on and get, you know, get in fights a lot. So he was amiable and he sought out Yip Man on how to learn how to deal with the bullies. Him and Chuck Norris were getting picked on. A lot of mar great martial artists were picked on as little kids, uh, whether they were small, slight frame, had a speech challenge or whatever. They got, they got beat up, picked on, teased. So they looked to the martial arts to enhance their awareness and confidence and just being able to take care of business as we say um, in terms of personality um, a driver personality would be um, let's say like a Joe Lewis in uh, martial arts uh, J O E L E W S not the heavyweight boxing champ Joe Lewis L O U I S uh, but Joe Lewis is more of a driver who also had a black belt but also was a student of Bruce Lee for like three years after he'd already won a couple national championships because he could see, hey, Junior, how you doing? Uh, he could see the value in Bruce Lee's training about uh, Jeet Kune Do, um, the way of the intercepting foot or fist or technique, something that would be the way of. And he's very, Bruce Lee was very philosophical in his approach to a deadly art. Um, and part of hey how you doing vikings man 116 this is uh keith griffin of griffin martial arts talking about the inner deal uh the driver expressive amiable and logical in terms of personalities as well as fighting hey how you doing in terms of fighting or you could be even football you know if you take a i'm trying to turn the screen around here how does this thing work oh turn it there uh, in terms of like a, if you remember the guy named randy moss he was an expressive Think of a guy who's going into Hall of Fame, Brett Favre. He was an expressive. Couldn't remember the plays. Could always wing it. Could always come up with something extraordinary in the time of need. Um, drove coaches crazy on both sides of the ball because it's not what he normally does. A Tom Brady, <laughs> he's a driver. Uh, Peyton Manning, he's a driver. Kind of logical. Both of them kind of share these two traits. Um, but in life, as in sports... You got an Allen Iverson who's kind of a driver slash expressive. You have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. This one is odd. He's probably a driver amiable or an amiable driver. Why do I say that? Well, Kareem is from New York. They don't play that. But he also trained with Bruce Lee. He also had the ability to knock a mofo out. 
at any time because he was training with uh, Bruce Lee. He was in the movie Game of Death. Um, I think that was done maybe a year before Bruce Lee passed, but Kareem, I think, was still at uh, UCLA under John Wooden as a basketball player. So he's very amiable because I think they took the slam dunks out, I believe. You can double check that. So he had to develop the sky hook, which is a very, very logical movement. But as a driver, uh, he was very unstoppable in the game of basketball. As a martial artist, he was a, most people don't realize this, he was a real good martial artist um, because he was a, a naturally trained athlete um, and he understood the philosophies of Bruce and was able to apply that in his basketball career. Um, one of the things that I enjoy about martial arts is teaching students on how to be better at what their strength is. Some people are, are drivers, expressive, amiable, logicals in life, but didn't really realize that. So probably this next week I'll go through the 16 uh, methodologies with actual physical uh, techniques. That's my dog Leah there. Um, technically my wife's dog. Um, so as the driver, expressive, amiable, logical in life, emotionally that's how people are. Drivers at the job, they don't back up. Expressives at the job, they're usually late. If there's a party, they're not going to be early. They're not going to be on time. They're going to wait till the party is popping. So when they pop in, it's like, hey, so they can be seen by everybody. Amiables, those are the ones setting up the party. Okay? They're the ones putting out the tables, putting out the, the juice, putting everything out, doing the, the, the grunt work. The logicals, they're the ones that had planned it, you know, six months in advance. You know, they had to get the reservation. They had to get the orders, get the RSVP sheets. The logicals are very, very much needed in the early stage. They won't rest until the party's over. Okay? They'll be on edge. You know, did we order enough food? Did we order enough drink? Hey, love me, 999. We're talking about martial arts and life. Um, I call this the inner deal. The D, the driver, E, expressive, A, amiable, L, for the logic. Um, part of the problem is most people don't respect the other three. You say it again. Most people are one primary focus point and they usually have a hard time respecting the other three. The driver, my way, the highway, they really don't want other people's opinion. Expressives, you know, whatever you do, I can outdo you. Amiables, they probably respect the other three, but they think, well, I just want to go along to get along. Logicals can respect other people's opinion unless they're talking garbage and stupid. So a logical will usually have a plan A, a plan B, a, a backup to plan A, a backup to plan B, all the way, all the way through all 26 letters, because that's how their mind operates. They plan for contingencies. They plan, well, what if this scenario based? What if this doesn't work? What if this doesn't work? Well, how can we handle that before it happens? The drivers, <laughs> and like some of the early explorers, they burn the boats when they get to a new country. They just ain't no turning back, no plan B, straight ahead, let's roll with it. Um, so if you guys have any questions about any of these, uh, what we do in our Taekwondo classes at Griffin Martial Arts 2054, Marshall Avenue in St. Paul is that we go through one technique all four different quadrants. I call them quadrants. So I might use a punch and show as a driver how to generate more power. As an expressive might might generate more motion and then ah put a yell behind it. Put some put some spice in it. As a um, as a as an amiable I might show you how to block it and then counter the punch. Um, block it with the arm or even a leg, you know, depending on what kind of punch it is. And then as the logical, you learn footwork, you learn angles. So you might shift your body to the left and then fire a counter kick or counter punch. Part of the, the game is being able to, one, know thyself, and then two, being able to outwit your opponent. Outwit would be either the logical out time would be the amiable, out, out impress, out cool would be the expressive, and just beat the crap out of somebody would be the driver. Um, so this has been Grandmaster Griffin here at Griffin Martial Arts. I will have probably 6 a.m. Monday and Tuesday. Say, hey, how you doing, Rich uh, Finn X1? Thanks for joining. We've been talking about the inner deal of martial arts. And uh, probably Monday and Tuesday morning around 6 I'm going to be doing a 
Taekwondo class. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Capricorn Five. Thanks for coming in. Um, just a ri real quick little uh, recap: driver personality, expressive personality, amiable personality, and logical personality. We use like different ways to fight. You know, we might use a simple punch with power. That straight line, expressive. Uh, they might shift around, bob and weave, and throw a circular punch. Amiable, they're going to probably block and then punch. A logical is going to sense the situation and sense: Do I need to attack with this punch? Do I need to counter punch with this punch? Do I need to do a combination to do the punch? Maybe two kicks and then a punch. So. Uh, once again, this has been Grandmaster Griffin of Griffin Martial Arts. I'm going to probably upload this to my Facebook page. Uh, what is it? Facebook.com slash Master Griffin GMA. And also my YouTube. Um, YouTube.com slash Master Giffen. M-A-S-T-E-R-G-I-F-F-I-N. I couldn't even spell my own freaking name, so I kind of messed that one up. Um, but yeah, so this is... Uh, been fun and I'll give some more talks about this but I just wanted to uh, I found this sheet and I had someone asked me last week what is the inner deal do you have it written down and um, I've done seminars with this and I would like to do some in the future so uh, give me a call if you got a hankering for some information about it uh, 612-807-5758 once again this is Grandmaster Griffin 8th degree black belt in Taekwondo oh thank you Asad Kareem uh, we're talking about point fighting and sparring in martial arts. Um, there's four basic personality types, driver, expressive, amiable, and logical. So the driver personality, um, straight ahead, simple, single techniques. Expressives, they like to bounce a lot all over the place. Amiables, they like to block and back up and then counter fight. Logicals, they want to use tactical footwork. They like to use biofeedback. They like to know your strengths, your weaknesses. Are you a kicker? Are you a puncher? They have a lot of things going on in their mind way, way before. Hey, how you doing, D.I. Paros? Uh, they have a lot of things going on in their mind before the fight even happens. Chuck Norris was amiable as a kid, but when he started taking martial arts, he became very, very logically based. He, too, was a private lesson student of Bruce Lee. Um, and so he started putting combinations together that would use footwork, that would exploit the angles, that would use hands as well as feet. He was one of the best um, world champions at combinations. A lot of world champions were good at blocking and countering or simple direct techniques, but Chuck kind of took a page of combinations of people's best techniques. Why? Because he was getting his butt whooped as an amiable when he first came on the tournament circuit. Um, He'd load up the car with the students, and they'd go to different tournaments. They'd all come back with trophies. He came back empty-handed. So after a while, he kind of went up and down the coast and trained and studied with the, you know, the fighters from different styles and different schools. And then he developed, oh, their best technique is a reverse punch. Their best technique is this kind of ridge hand. So then after a while, after doing this a while, he was able to actually use their techniques against them and other people and started winning world championships and titles. So very, very logically based from his failures. So Chuck was a great student of the students of martial arts. He had to learn from his students. Well, how come it's working for them but not working for me? So it was a lesson in, in humility. Um, great martial artist, great person, great, not that I know, but I do know people that know him uh, directly. So um, just wanted to share some ideas on point fighting as well as life. Driver personality in life, straight ahead, no nonsense. They get to the point. Uh, if they're going to go shopping, let's take the word shopping. So if they're going to go shopping, they know what they want and why they want it, and they're going to go get it. Uh, logical, they will do research. They will do two or three different sources of research. They might pull up some videos. They might Google it, Yahoo, Bing it. They might get a book. They might talk to some people. They'll look at testimonials. They will research the facts. They'll research the company. They'll see if is the company a good, solid company, regardless of what they're selling. But, you know, is the company going to be around a while? Because if they buy the product, they want to know about the customer service and research department, yada, yada, yada. Expressives, does it look good? Does it feel good? You know, is, is it going to be pretty? Is Are people going to think highly of me? Amiable, 
they wait till the last minute somebody will tell them you need to get this that and the other oh okay or here you go take it wear it you need it oh okay so they're kind of reluctant shoppers expressives are in the moment shoppers drivers are focused on that one thing logicals have a list if you have like a shopping list of 20 things and you go through the store you check them off put them in a the cart check them off put them in a the cart check them off put them in the cart you get to the counter and you see oh i need to get one of those you will actually take out a pen write it down put it in the cart and then check it off you're laughing you're laughing but you know it's true amiables will be told to go to the store and get something for somebody else expressos they might go to two or three different stores driver yeah they're going to go to that one store and get that thing and then they're done they're out expressos might be in there two hours three hours comparing notes comparing styles comparing colors they might ask people's opinion hey how does this look on me so everybody can be successful it's just a matter it's my little dog i have no idea what she's running for go leah go leah we have a bunny in the yard but you know i have no idea if the bunny where are you going girl where are you going you having fun you having fun yeah so she's kind of an expressive dog um and so I never know what she's gonna do. Expressives can't do the same thing more than three times in a row. They get bored and they're just not pattern people of predictability. Uh, I'm gonna sign off here, but uh, feel free to hit me back. I'll do another broadcast about, um, I might do it today, see how I feel, about one of these uh, quadrants and just kind of go through the four ways to do a technique. All right, guys, thank you. Signing off.